In this video, we're going to continue working with formatting the output. Except this time, we're going to look at how to create uh, a table output, right? formatting tables such as an Excel spreadsheet or something of that nature, some kind of spreadsheet. So there's the program right in front of you. The first table up here on the top, right? this table right here, uses the tab character to try and make columns. And then down below, we use a better way of doing it using what's called the set w um, function here, right, which allows us to set up columns a little better. Uh, to use the set w, you need this library still, the IO manip there that allows us to format our output. Right, there's no other formatting going on, just using the set w there and then passing in a value, which I'll explain in a second. So when you run this program, this is what it looks like. All right. You can see the English 101. Let me put this down here, which is the heading here. Right. Um, whoops, up here. Kind of goes across the two columns of data, of values. Where the math 101 is way out here, it should be above these three values here. Right. And you see down below, using the set W, those columns match up nice and evenly. Right. Um, if you were to remove the English 101, and we'll remove it from both of these right, and then if you were to run the program at that point your output would look something like this and you can see okay now the English kind of lines above the column it should be and the math is above the, uh, the column it should be and down below nothing's really changed everything lines up nice and neat the 101 is gone like we took it out um, whether it's lined up this way or that or on this side or over here we can change that in a minute I'll show you that but you can see it's easier to work with the set W, uh, which is actually set in the width of the column, than using the tabs. Uh, the tabs are a fixed size. That's part of the uh, operating system. There are ways to go in and change that, but uh, it gets messier to do it with the tabs. The set W is a cleaner way to do the tables. All right, let me show you the two outputs again, side by side here. All right, there's the one with the 101 in it. All right. And you can see the difference. Bottom hasn't changed. We have less text here. All right, so definitely cleaner to work with the set W. So let's get rid of this one now and keep this here as a comparison. Uh, I'm going to want to put actually the 101 back in. So let's put the 101 back in. I'm not too concerned with the top table anymore. Put the 101 in there, and I'm going to comment all this out so we don't see that anymore okay so let's run that so we got our what I call a first output or our decent first decent outputs alright there we go alright so you notice everything's nice and neat right except for this right here we'll explain that in a second and I'm going to show you how to, we can shift these back and forth as we wish but let's talk about what this set W is doing. The set W is saying, I want a column of 10 um, characters. And it fills in blanks if, if the piece of data you're outputting is less than 10. So on the heading here, you can see I have a set W of 10. So I want 10 columns, and I'm outputting a single space. But what it actually did is put in 10 blank spaces here. If you count this up, section, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, right, with the one. So it's only nine out of ten, that's why we get the space here. Where this one is a full ten, so it took up the entire space. So you see it padded to the left of the text or whatever you're outputting. So the space that I outputted here, the space here, is actually here, and then put in nine more blanks for me. The second column I said set W to 15. And I said 15 because this is one, English 101 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 characters. So it's more than the 10, so that wouldn't work for this situation. So I made it a little wider. So there's the, the 11 characters, and it padded with another four blank spaces. Now if this was a full 15, it would butt up right against these, which is not good. So we, you know, we made it big enough so it covers that and gives us a nice clean space. With the last column, right, it's four and seven, it's eight characters here for the Math 101. So the 10 works for that one, and it gave me a nice little space of two things here. Um, I could drop this down to a 13, and then I'll have two nice spaces between 
all my columns if I want consistency like that. Okay. By default, like I said, it puts the spaces in the front. That's why we have these spaces here. All right. So it puts the spaces to the left. We can change that by going in the code here. And I'll put in a right. All right. Let's run that. Right, and there's this output and you're gonna see it has not changed you get the other output up alright there's our two outputs nothing has changed All right, so the right is the default meaning it's always gonna put the text to the right now I'm gonna tell it to put the text to the left so we can actually see it change All right, there is no center All right. I'm going to get our left here in a second. There we go. All right, and now you can see the tables have changed quite a bit. All right, the sections now all line up on the left. But now our English data is all lined up on the left also, and it's buttoning up and right, kind of cramming things here. This one's okay because its separation is still there. All right, but this kind of ruined this look here. So this left right is setting the justification as to where inside that column you want to justify it to the left or to the right. All right. So we set it to the left so it's starting to justify stuff to the left. All right. By default it automatically puts everything to the right. We can still clean this up some more. If I want the rest of this to go to the right then simply after the thing I wanted to the left I am simply going to say to the right. All right. If I only do it on this one line that means from this point forward, all these C outs will be to the right, which is not what we want. Right? We want these to be to the left. So before we do that, we want it to be the oops, left. All right, well, that's something we want to do in all these. So all right, so we know the first column will be all to the left, and then we want to do the same thing, making everything else in the rest of this output go to the right. And there we go. So now we got a, a nice clean table we should get. Compile that. See what it looks like. Alright, and there's our output. All right, so there's no empty space over here. That looks great. We got our gap in here we want. Things have lined up nicely. English 101 and how many students are in those sections. A little gap there. Math 101 right? and its students. We can put more columns in. All right. So the column width, the set W, is for the next thing that's going to be outputted. All right. This is not an output. It's just giving it direction as to how to output it. So the next thing being output is this and that line. For this set 10, it affects this. This set 15 affects this and the 23's that are below it. Right, and same thing out here. Right, if I was to leave one of these out, let's take out this one here. All right, just to show you that it should only affect that one value of 23 in one of the columns. Right, and it had a very drastic change. So this one did not get set to a column width, right, but this 100 did. Still has its big gap in here like it should, but this one does not. All right, so the set W works on the next piece of data that's going to be outputted. So we'll put that back in and that will fix the columns for us. All right, so there you can have form data inside like a spreadsheet kind of look thing setting up a table. All right.